most of the new, me new members of Timble may not be aware that there was an attempt some years ago to close the sub post office at Poros, and myself and Mr. Duggan, who was an MHK at the time, managed to get it retained. Um, the reason for the question this time round is I understand all the financial pressures and things, but for me, it is such a conveniently located uh, sub post office, and there is a shop adjacent. If they didn't want to have just a sub post office on its own, there is uh, a shop a couple of doors away, which, in my opinion, could take over the service. Um, I, for a long time, when I we had a shop in town, uh, banked at Pullrose Post Office, so I know how good Alan Klukas has been in that role for an extended period of time, and I know that it's got quieter uh, because some of the services previously undertaken by sub-post offices are no longer... So I understand all that, but I do think that it's an important part of the community and I would like to see it retained if possible. I'm sure there are some people who will say there is a post office in town, not all that far away from Paul Rose. The sorting office isn't all that far away. Is it absolutely essential that Paul Rose has a postal facility? No, I, well, I wouldn't say it's absolutely essential. Um I wouldn't say it's absolutely essential that there was a sub-police station, but that's gone as well in Pulrow. And I think these are parts of a community, and I've always liked to think that the area I formerly represented did constitute a community. There was a community feel to it. And, and these kind of things, uh, in, in the last few years, the sub-police station has gone. I think that that provided uh, policemen on the beat uh, for residents uh, to feel safe in the, uh, where they were and, and security. And I think that the same with the post office. It's something which is a, a very convenient um, service. And yes, whilst I acknowledge it's not absolutely essential, I'd like to hope that the post office hasn't just taken the easy option and said, Alan's going, we're going to close down, rather than investigating other opportunities. Have you had much feedback from those in the area? Is this something that the residents of Paul Rose are concerned about? Well, the, the, the feedback I've had is how good Alan has been over an extended period. Uh, I haven't had particular feedback in relation to this, but I do know that lots of people um, use the services which were available there and will miss them. The I was uh, it copied in in correspondence from the chair of the post office in relation to saying that there was a sub post office in Annika and there's a, as you just said there's a sub post office or in in town there are there are sub post offices elsewhere but for people with mobility problems or older people in particular or those who have other um, difficulties I think that this has been a conveniently located sub-post office in a community, and that's why I'm asking the question. There has been a, an ongoing review into the future of the post office at the moment. Is this something that they should wait until the final outcome of that is decided? Well, I can't dictate to them what they, what they do, um, but I would say that there are other sub-post offices in other locations that are nowhere near uh, as well used as uh, Paul Rose sub post office is, um, whilst I was chairman of the post office in 19, around 1990, around that time, we took the unfortunate uh, decision that we had to close two sub post offices in that period of time. Um, but I would argue that this one is in a, an area of quite dense pop population, uh, an area which requires those services and is is a good case in my opinion but obviously those decisions as to whether it be put on hold until the overview is completed or or whatever are for others to make and generally across the island how important would you say sub post offices are um i, I would say that for the future I'm a supporter of the proposal put forward by former Chief Minister Tony Brown in relation to community hubs where a number of government services could be interacted with the public to save the public having to come necessarily into Douglas. Now that, that's a different question because that would be probably four or five larger hubs where the various services could be carried out in the locations where people live. Um, but in terms of sub post offices, there are there are quite a lot of sub post offices, and 
you know, they do cost. Uh, there is a subsidy from the post office uh, towards their maintenance. And so obviously it's something they'll be looking at in the future.